Possessing the world's largest and most powerful rocket is undoubtedly a dream for many, wouldn't you agree? Starship is making remarkable strides and demonstrating immense potential, despite not yet being operational. Interestingly, it has caught the attention of organizations like the Pentagon and the U.S. military, who have swiftly recognized its capabilities. Surprisingly, they are considering plans to make Starship their own. Why does the government aim to acquire Starship? How do they intend to leverage its capabilities, and how does SpaceX respond to this proposition? Join us as we delve into these questions on today's episode of Great SpaceX. SpaceX currently stands as the most influential aerospace company globally, boasting powerful rockets like Falcon 9, Falcon Heavy, and, notably, Starship, the world's largest rocket. Additionally, they operate Starlink, the most extensive satellite system to date. These capabilities naturally draw significant attention from government entities, particularly military forces. Starship, like other SpaceX products, has garnered interest from these organizations. The concept of utilizing Starship for point-to-point -point transportation on Earth has been explored. Gregory Spaniers, chief scientist overseeing the rocket cargo program at the Air Force Research Laboratory, remarked on this, stating, We've looked at this for seven years, and it never makes any sense. Now we're finding that, indeed, it's looking a lot more attractive than it has had in the past. This indicates that government organizations have been contemplating the potential of Starship for an extended period, even during its earlier iteration as the Big Falcon rocket. However, given Starship's unique capabilities, if it were to become part of a partnership between the government and SpaceX, it would entail special considerations. Indeed, unlike previous collaborations, the current interest from the U.S. government and military goes beyond mere utilization. They seek ownership and full control of the rocket through a government-owned, government-operated mechanism, encompassing all aspects from launch to landing and reuse. This entails undertaking sensitive and potentially hazardous missions that were previously exclusive to specialized vehicles. Senior Colonel Eric Felt, the Director of Space Architecture for the Office of the Secretary of the Air Force for Space Acquisition, highlighted the possibility of immediate transfer to a government-owned, government-operated vehicle for specific use cases. This represents a significant request for SpaceX to contemplate. While it may be challenging for them to refuse outright, given their long-standing collaboration with the U.S. government and military, including notable contracts such as the $149 million contract in 2024 for satellite development to track rocket launches for the Department of Defense, or DOD, the $102 million contract in 2022 for rocket cargo development for the Department of the Air Force, and the $70 million contract in September last year for the development of the Starshield Internet Satellite System for the U.S. Space Force. Additionally, Falcon 9 and Heavy have played pivotal roles in launching numerous payloads for the USSF under the National Security Space Launch Program shortened to NSSL. However, SpaceX is unlikely to desire complete control of its rockets by other agencies, as this would introduce numerous challenges and complications. The desire of the U.S. government and military to own Starship stems from their crucial role in ensuring global security. As a nation with significant international responsibilities, the U.S. military frequently operates worldwide facing a myriad of challenging tasks such as human and goods resupply, conflict resolution, rescue operations, and more. While the U.S. possesses advanced technology, existing vehicles may not fully meet the requirements of deploying military forces in large numbers or achieving rapid global transportation within a matter of hours. Starship's capabilities make it an invaluable asset for the U.S. government and military. As the largest and most powerful rocket globally, Starship boasts unprecedented thrust, enabling it to traverse Earth in under an hour at speeds exceeding 16.7 thousand miles per hour, far surpassing the fastest commercial aircraft. This capability is indispensable in emergency scenarios such as conflicts or providing rapid relief during sudden incidents or natural disasters. Furthermore, Starship's immense cargo capacity of up to 150 tons nearly double 
double that of the US military's C-17 cargo jet, streamlines logistical challenges by enabling the transportation of large volumes of supplies or equipment in a single flight, eliminating the need for multiple aircraft as before. Elon Musk's revelation that Starship can accommodate up to 1,000 passengers underscores its potential to rapidly deploy human resources to global hotspots with unprecedented efficiency. Moreover, Starship's reusability sets it apart from previous giant rockets, offering significant cost savings. With an anticipated stable launch frequency, each Starship flight could cost as little as $2 million, considerably cheaper than most current rockets. The affordability stands to substantially reduce the defense budget burden for the US military and government, making it an economically advantageous option. SpaceX's response to the US government and military's request is being meticulously deliberated. During a space mobility conference on January 30th, Gary Henry, SpaceX's senior advisor for National Security Space Solutions, disclosed in insights into their considerations. Henry revealed ongoing conversations between SpaceX and the government, focusing on specific details with elevated risks or potentially dangerous applications for the Department of Defense. In these discussions, the question arises whether the DOD requires ownership of particular assets, prompting SpaceX to assess its ability to accommodate such needs. Henry emphasized that SpaceX has been actively exploring various options to address these inquiries, indicating a thorough examination of potential solutions to align with the government's requirements. This suggests that SpaceX is carefully weighing the implications and feasibility of granting the government ownership and control over Starship for specific mission needs. Navigating the new government requirements while staying true to SpaceX's development goals poses significant challenges. As Gary Henry highlighted, SpaceX's primary objective with Starship is to advance space exploration, particularly towards Mars. Musk's ambitious vision of establishing a city with a million inhabitants on Mars remains a driving force behind Starship's development. To realize this vision, SpaceX has outlined ambitious plans, including scaling up Starship production to 100 units annually, launching approximately a million tons of cargo to Mars each year, and initiating unmanned missions to Mars within the next four years, with crewed missions to follow within eight. Additionally, Starship is pivotal in NASA's goal of landing humans on the moon within the next three years. Given these ambitious objectives, SpaceX faces the challenge of allocating resources effectively to balance government requirements with its own strategic priorities. While meeting government demands could divert resources from Mars and lunar exploration goals, SpaceX must carefully strategize to ensure alignment between government needs and its long-term vision for space exploration. Balancing these priorities will require careful planning and resource management to navigate potential conflicts and ensure continued progress towards both government and SpaceX's space exploration objectives. Entrusting complete control of Starship to the government carries inherent risks, particularly concerning the understanding and potential misuse of the technology by government personnel. Unlike SpaceX employees who intimately understand the operational intricacies of Starship, government officials may lack this specialized knowledge. Moreover, SpaceX founders Elon Musk and Gwen Shotwell have vehemently opposed any weaponization of their vehicles as evidenced by their stance on the Starlink issue in Ukraine. Therefore, SpaceX will exercise caution in considering government requests, especially if they involve potential military applications. However, SpaceX remains open to utilizing Starship for humanitarian missions and endeavors promoting global peace and security. Yet, they are likely to reject proposals associated with warfare or conflict. Ultimately, SpaceX's decision will hinge on whether the proposed usage aligns with their values and principles. Furthermore, the government's decision to select Starship for its missions will depend heavily on the vehicle's development progress and demonstrated reliability. Starship is currently undergoing testing with two orbital test flights conducted last year. The government will monitor these developments closely to assess Starship's suitability for complex and demanding missions. Indeed, Starship and the SpaceX team stand on the precipice of numerous opportunities to contribute to both the nation and the world. 
SpaceX's Starship holds the promise of revolutionizing space exploration, offering unparalleled versatility and capability, yet with this potential comes with it a host of challenges, from regulatory complexities to ethical considerations. SpaceX must navigate these obstacles with care, ensuring that Starship's utilization aligns with the bold aspirations that define its mission. By making thoughtful decisions, SpaceX can propel Starship to new heights while staying true to its pioneering vision. Starship, since its unveiling last decade, has transformed the aerospace realm, yet orbit remains an unattained milestone. Nevertheless, it continues its steady strides forward, unveiling immense potential across various faucets. Heralded as the largest rocket globally, towering at 121 meters tall and boasting a 9 meter diameter, it dethroned the iconic Saturn V, a record holder for decades. Starship's grand design envisions hauling payloads of up to 150 tons to orbit and ferrying as many as 100 pioneers to Mars, fostering rapid settlement upon reaching the Red Planet. Not just colossal, Starship reigns supreme as the most powerful rocket, fueled by the mighty Raptor 2 engine, generating a jaw-dropping thrust of 230 tons. Witnessed during its November inter integrated test flight, this power preview is just a teaser, as the forthcoming Raptor 3 promises even more groundbreaking achievements. Efficiency is Starship's forte, championing cost optimization through ingenious design choices, such as stainless steel construction, methane fuel, and so much more. These innovations significantly slash expenses. Moreover, its entire vehicle reusability stands unmatched in the industry, elevating cost-effectiveness to new heights. This allure isn't lost on the USSF, which relishes the prospect of an efficiently operating vehicle at an exceptionally affordable cost, particularly given the already substantial defense budget. Given its exceptional advantages, Starship presents a myriad of prospects for future development. Currently, Spain SpaceX collaborates with governmental entities on critical projects, notably the National Security Space Launch Program, or the NSSL. Securing the Phase II contract in 2020 from the USSF, SpaceX undertakes the responsibility of launching pivotal assets, which are satellites, space planes, and vital equipment, for both the USSF and other governmental agencies. Within this program, the Falcon 9 and Falcon Heavy are the primary vehicles SpaceX employs. This month, the Falcon Heavy will embark on a mission to propel the USSF's X-37B space plane into orbit, a task outlined in the contract. Beyond the USSF, SpaceX engages with another significant body, the US Air Force. Early in 2022, SpaceX secured a five-year, $102 million contract from the USAF. The deal focuses on showcasing technologies and capabilities for transporting military supplies and humanitarian aid globally using heavy rockets. SpaceX's rocket is entrusted with the responsibility of ferrying military logistics including cargo, equipment, medical provisions, and even personnel worldwide to bolster the U.S. military's efforts in national and international missions. This landscape presents numerous prospects for Starship. The NSSL Phase II contract spans from 2022 to 2026, followed by Phase III scheduled from 2025 to 2029. Despite Starship's ongoing quest to reach orbit, its potential for success remains promising. Further tests are slated for the upcoming year, aiming to facilitate its orbit attainment and subsequent stable operation. Compared to the Falcon line of rockets, Starship holds a multitude of advantages in payload capacity, velocity, and cost effectiveness. Should it become operational, Starship could potentially supplant these two rockets in critical ventures like the NSSL, particularly in Phase 3 of the project. The cargo transport contract equally beckons opportunities for Starship. This agreement doesn't stipulate the use of specific vehicles, affording SpaceX the liberty to deliberate and select the most fitting vehicle for the mission. A meticulous evaluation of Starship unveils its alignment with the prerequisites outlined in this contract. SpaceX had previously unveiled Starship's Earth-to-Earth -Earth travel capability, promising global circumnavigation in under an hour. This feature perfectly 
directly aligns with the urgent needs of the U.S. military for challenging missions. Coupled with its payload capacity and thrust capabilities, Starship can execute supply runs across the globe faster than any existing aircraft or rocket, a crucial asset for reinforcing the U.S. military's capabilities and accomplishing arduous tasks. Moreover, SpaceX is poised to explore numerous other mission opportunities in the foreseeable future. Those opportunities indeed present substantial potential for SpaceX and Starship. The crucial question remains, will they seize these opportunities or let them pass by? Though Starship's journey began in earnest in 2019, it has swiftly forged ahead. The spacecraft remains in its testing phase with two integrated flights conducted this year, marking significant progress set to be accelerated in the upcoming years to meet crucial SpaceX deadlines. One imminent milestone is NASA's Artemis project. Utilizing HLS, or Human Landing System, Starship, SpaceX aims to touch down NASA's crew on the lunar surface after over half a century. The inaugural mission, Artemis 3, is slated for late 2025 or early 2026, an undertaking pivotal not just in the space race, but also with far-reaching implications for humanity's future. The subsequent milestone orbits around the Mars Colonization Project, an ambitious aspiration by Elon Musk and SpaceX when conceiving Starship. The remaining years of this decade could see the realization of this objective. Recently, at the International Astronautical Congress, Musk outlined landing the first uncrewed Starship on Mars within the next four years, around 2027, paving the way for successive missions to establish settlements and transport humans to the Red Planet. Both endeavors remain Starship's primary focus. Success in forthcoming test flight missions is essential for their fruition. Yet, juxtaposed against these goals are the imperative national and international security missions. In the face of escalating defense challenges alongside technological advancements, safeguarding not only the U.S. but also global peace and security has become paramount for the military. Contributing to national defense efforts would be an honor for SpaceX and a testament to their commitment. Given the opportunity, leveraging their expertise already evident in creating the HLS variant of Starship for NASA could extend to developing a new Starship for the USSF. Moreover, SpaceX's ambitious plan to produce a Starship daily in the future, primarily for Mars missions, could potentially dedicate a segment to supporting the USSF and the military at large. The course of action hinges on the deliberation of Elon Musk and SpaceX. This choice entails a balancing act, representing both an opportunity and a formidable challenge for their endeavors. Imagining Starship's application in multiple domains beyond lunar or Martian missions is an aspiration shared by SpaceX and fervent Starship enthusiasts. Should this come to pass, it would represent the most compelling response from SpaceX to the query, what drove the creation? of Starship. Well, folks, that's about it for today's episode. Thank you so much for tuning in, and if you want to support our channel even further, you can hop on over to our Patreon through the link in the description below. Sign up today and become a patron to gain access to exclusive content. Sounds exciting, right? In any case, we still appreciate your generosity and your passion for space exploration. As always, this is Kevin from Great SpaceX, and until next time, keep looking up, and happy holidays.